If your computer has major problems, it will need to be re-imaged. To do this, you first of all shut down your laptop and then you restart it. While it's restarting, you need to hold the Alt and the F10 buttons. Holding the Alt and F10 buttons will go to a special menu that will allow you to choose it to be reconfigured. You can see the screen here flicking through a few times. It'll look like Windows is starting, um, but what it will go to in a moment is a green screen with some options on there. These options give you uh, five or six steps to go through, most of which will be automatic, but may require you to click on either the Next or the OK button. The most important one is the first one. The option screen one, which you'll see in a moment, basically you need to choose the first option for it, and that's the one that says Restore Operating System to the Factory Defaults. There you see the first choice, and I'm just going to click that. Click Next on the second one. Click OK. And then you need to sit back and wait. Now, depending upon the amount of damage to your hard drive, how badly corrupted it is, this may take a long time or a short amount of time. An average amount of time for a re-image is probably about 15 minutes. But at this point, you can basically sit back and just let it work on its own. Eventually, after it's gone through all the steps it needs to, it'll just go straight back to your original login screen. Although at this stage you'll be able to log in, uh, you can only log in locally. So as you see, if you use Loretto as the username and password as the password, you'll be able to use this laptop at home. But in order to use it again in the college network, you'll need to take it to the ICT help desk and they'll do a little process which renames your laptop so that the network recognizes it. After this point, it'll work again as you had it working before. Remember all the data on your D drive will still be safe. It's only the C drive which gets affected.